what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and today guys we are working on the zl1 and hopefully fixing an issue that has been limiting this car ever since we installed the head that is loud actually going to be helping this car supply more fuel to the engine and that is because we are installing the DSX auxiliary low side fuel system on the ZL1. It's very simple. It's one of the easier modifications that you can do to help feed the fuel to the engine on any of your cars whether it be an LS engine or an LT engine really really easy to do and there is one little thing that you might be scared to do but it is very simple and not hard to do at all and that is drilling your gas tank so today we're going to be doing all of that and i'll show you guys kind of how just simple this install is but before we get to that guys i want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you guys that are part of the speed squadron here at jl speed and if you'd like to join or you want to be part of the speed squadron super simple all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the videos and see the progress we make on this ZL1 and any future cars that come after. But enough of that guys, we'll get right to the video here. And of course the key player of this video is the DSX aux fuel system. As you guys see here, we've got the fuel pump that is going to be grabbing fuel from the bottom of the tank comes with this dsx proprietary fuel filter already got zip ties it has a bunch of neat stuff guys we've got this plug and play wire harness super super simple it plugs into your map sensor so whenever the car sees more than about three pounds of boost this thing will kick on and start turning the fuel pump on to make sure that the fuel flow is going on as pro make sure that the fuel flow is enough to support the high pressure side and of course the dsx fuel kit guys does come with best of the best you're looking at these pre-made lines look at that heat shrink fittings and this ptfe fuel hose which will make sure that you don't see any permeation it doesn't smell like gas it's not going to smell like anything because these are top of the line premium hoses and they're all pre-made exactly to the length that you need and we'll be showing you guys where those are going to go but we've got two of those and of course here we have the brackets for the fuel pump we've got our inline t fitting and our fitting that's going to go in the tank here along with the key part of this which is this liquid here which is the sealant that we'll use on threads and ensure that our tank doesn't leak comes with the bracket and the supplied hardware here you guys can see super super nice very simple and of course you can add this piece here which is the drill and tap bit to ensure that you make the proper size hole in the gas tank and of course this drill bit has this um, kind of rubber as far as where the maximum you should be going to so it doesn't really need to thread in too much but it will create the threads for your fitting and finally you get some nice instructions here guys really really detailed instructions that have pictures and all of that so i'm super excited guys as you see there's not much to the kit guys and it is pretty much all plug and play which is the beauty of the dsx aux kit okay so car is jacked up from the back and the instructions actually say to start with the electrical up in the front and it's super simple guys on the zl1 you have the map sensor right back here so you can see right in here and the harness comes with a T in fitting where you basically disconnect the factory harness, plug in the DSX harness, plug in the factory. You do want to make sure that these colors here are matching on the other side so that the car runs right. 
but then all I did was route it from the back you can see the the harness wire here it's nice and tight in the wire loom put it under the main harness brought it out back in here now here for the battery and hookups for the terminals it's actually pretty simple and let me just plug, pop this off what we did is we used this distribution block here i went ahead and got a nut for the stud with a washer and we've got now the power wire and then that wire goes into this piece here which is a dsx microprocessor piece with the fuse here and i went ahead and screwed this piece on to this bracket and then used my own nut and screw here to harness and secure this fuse here so all this is secure the ground you do just remove the stud slide the ground in i routed it in under the bottom so it's nice and out of the way and then finally you do have the next harness which is the actual main harness which different people do a different way dsx says you need to shoot it in between the fender liner here as far through the fender liner so you can get it through the fender and out that way we're gonna leave that to the very end guys that's the last little bit is basically just putting in the positive and negative terminal from that harness into the fuel pump that is going to get activated by this little processor here and you can actually press this button here and it'll test and do all that good stuff so um everything is good to go on the wiring of the engine bay the fuel pump is installed with the bracket it uses a factory hole here and then there's one under the heat shield here that isn't used by the factory. You'll be using that and that's what holds this in place. Nice and sturdy and tucked up away. Now we're gonna be teeing into this blue line here, guys. This is the fuel line and it's got these little blue clips which we need to be careful not to break. So a small little screwdriver, some little thing to pop it out and we should be able to just push this thing back and install the inline T adapter where the fuel pump will be feeding back into the system okay the adapter is in guys and be careful because it will squirt some fuel you guys can see there but it's super easy just make sure you open up the two little wings here on both ends and slide this put blue clip out and then that just slides back out there's no pressure or anything there which is really nice and then we just slot in the dsx tuning adapter here which has our fitting that is going to run the hose from the fuel pump okay we are coming along nicely so i have routed the line that has the straight end fitting through the back here first so you want to make so you want to make sure you put in this line from the back to the front because and you use that straight fitting that's the only way you're going to get the line through this little box section but then we ran it through here and then now it is connected at the fuel line here of course the return going to the stock line is the 150 degree back coming across crossing here and teeing off on the adapter here so that's all done everything is pretty much in place guys now the only thing left is to drill that tank alrighty guys so I have gone ahead and I drilled my hole and luckily I had just with two gallons left and the car angled forward I didn't get any fuel leaking out or anything and I just went ahead and also ran the tap as you can see I am only up to where it told me to do it so that's all we got to go and then we'll back that out and then we'll be ready to install the fitting which is super simple um really not that hard to do this guys um a lot more intimidating than it seems but overall pretty easy to do there it is guys it is installed it is nice and wet now apparently that green goo there the sealant never truly dries so it should be good to go it's really snug and i mean you can you can tell it's it's really snug it's nice and secure it's not going anywhere nice and threaded really solid this is all tightened down this is good to go there now we're going to go ahead and drop the car from the back so that we can go ahead and raise it from the front and finish up the wiring of the fuel pump 
and tidy up everything else so all right so back is done now we lift it up from the front and guys it's a lot easier actually to just go around the strut brace here so see here the cushioned uh fender liner i just kind of pushed it in with my fingers there and then ended up finding it right behind the strut here and you can see right here right in the back it's actually tucked nicely in there in the back out of the way i did have to re loosen up these t15 these three here to pull this back and allow me to kind of reach and pull the uh, the harness around the back here around the fender liner and you have this you end up with the harness around this pocket here there's a hole here that has another hole way back here and that allows you to route the harness back through here so now we're ready to go and we've got excess cable which is great so that we can go ahead and just make our connections there they're marked positive and negative and we're just going to go ahead and do tighten them you don't need to go extra tight because you could strip those little terminals there but just make sure they're snug and last thing before we finish it up is going to be just zip tying everything out of the way we we'll zip tie where these fuel lines are crossing make sure that they're not moving or rattling and zip tie any excess pieces before we go ahead and put cover back on and hide all this beautiful engineering and just like that we are done guys now one cool thing about this pump is it does come with this little control here and right in the middle is a button and if you press that button, it'll actually prime the pump so you can hear if the pump is working. Now check this out. I'm gonna press the button and you should be able to hear the pump. There we go. We have power to the pump. We are good to go. So now it does say that you do have to let that sealant cure overnight. Um, so you're not supposed to drive the car um i'm probably still gonna just back it into the garage i don't want it to be out here especially and leave my garage open so we're gonna go ahead and i'll turn the car back on drive it back and let it sit overnight uh and once it's been sitting down flat obviously fuel will be there and tomorrow morning we can check back under and see if there was any leaks and if there is and obviously something went wrong and we're gonna have to figure that out then but if not then we should be good to go so anyways guys now that we have fuel for days we are ready to go up on e-content and hopefully get us even better times at the track guys i'm super excited super stoked really really awesome and hopefully we get the bell mouth for the rotofab i think that's gonna be pretty awesome and we'll be able to see if the car gains any i do have the velocitech intake piece that goes here which i will also probably throw in i do have to remove the bumper for that but it's not too bad just tons of little screws that you have to deal with um but yeah anyways guys that is the dsx ox pump kit install i'm super excited uh like i said there's many videos on how to do it online i kind of just want to show you guys the little bits and pieces that i came across that i thought were interesting and hope that you didn't have to do on your end or have to redo on your end so now with that being said guys that is it for today's video um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one